I just like to say that that was probably one of the most exciting matches. I'm sure as a fan, um, it was a little bit of a heart attack match for us on the bench. But um, we talked about it before our match today and leading into this moment. Um, this is the only group that I can say I would feel 100% confident in that situation that they're going to find a way. Um, they have been the type of group that when we get challenged, they respond. And tonight we were challenged and I think we responded very well. Lisa, uh, Kim does so much on the floor. Can you kind of talk about the, the impact the middles had, especially in those first two sets? So first I want to say um, Gabby did a great job tonight of making sure that we did what we do best and that's run a really fast offense. And she did a good job of forcing our middles. In set one and set two, I feel like our pace was so fast that they were struggling to keep up with us. Um, she did a great job of maintaining that through the match and our middles just came alive and they were killing it, especially in set one and set two. Um, I think Mount Carmel adjusted some to us and they started blocking us a little bit um, when we moved into set three and set four, but um, Gabby just changed it up. She found a way to make it work and I, I, our middles were lights out tonight and we've been saying all year that was what we needed. We needed to be able to feed our middles when we needed to most and they did a great job and she did a great job of giving it to them. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> when you're looking up at the scoreboard and you're, you're seeing it reach the heights of getting close to 30 and then eventually getting 30, you know, it's really a mental game. And we have discussed all season about being mentally tough and being able to focus on increments. That's what you'll hear them say a lot on the court. And, you know, you can hear them, you know, first one to 30, first one to this, you know. And I, I think they did a great job of finding a way to be mentally tough in that. And, you know, when we saw that Mount Carmel ran out of subs on the other side, you could see in their faces. All right, they were like, this is where we're going because we know this is what we've, you know, we've lasted and we've pushed through and this is the moment, you know, and we got to go put it away. I guess Cam, same thing, just that, that perseverance required, especially for the end. Yeah, um, our team motto is we climb and we always know that like when you're climbing a mountain, there's going to be a lot of hard roads that you're going to have to travel up and get through and I feel like we really lived out that motto today because like we just had balls that we like would put everything into and they would still hit the ground but then I feel like the next point we would just come back and be like yes we're getting this next ball let's just keep pushing and we talked about trust last night in our hotel room and I feel like there was just so much trust that the next person was going to put the ball away every single time like it just never stopped that like we would just like I don't know. <laughs> we, I'm sorry. No, you're good. So um, we just kind of kept pushing and like trusted the person next to you, and I just it was incredible to watch. I feel like this is just another exciting thing to do with this group of girls, and like like Cameron was saying, like we have so much trust in each other that we can rely on each other if like we're struggling in a matter, but like we'll each like have our way to pick back pick each other back up, and it's so fun to see the excitement and like fun plays to play around. And it's just so fun to do it with the same group of girls. And it's just an amazing experience that no one. And we talk about being thankful all the time. And this is something that I am so grateful for to have this opportunity more like than once. We're just really grateful that we made it to this point. I know all teams came to Lafayette with the same goal in mind. But we had to take it one game at a time and fight. And I loved seeing everyone grow throughout the season. I think that's my favorite part, just watching everyone around me get better and everyone want the best for each other. I thought it was pretty amazing. You know, we talked about all season, like living in the moment. And I think each and every point we lived in the moment. You know, we were with each other, we trusted each other. And I think it came out really well, so. I think it's, it's so hard to explain. Like the passion that we put into each and every point, like cheering on each other, like slapping the ground. It's just incredible how we cheer each other on and keep pushing through and you know, it's every coach's goal to get to play every single day of volleyball that you can. And that was our goal, was to get here today. And, you know, we can't, there's only so much we can do to control the outcomes. But what I can say is these ladies here and their teammates, they did an awesome job of controlling the controllables and making sure that, like Tamia said, they lived in every single moment and that they really leaned on each other and they trusted one another and they did it for each other.
and it's just amazing to see what they have here, um, what we have here. I'm going to change that, what we have here. Um, this team is the true definition of a team. If somebody's struggling, the person next to them is picking them up. And it's just, it's amazing to see what these group of girls can do. <laughs> Coach, just describe your emotions during that last set, just back and forth, back and forth. Were you ever part of a, a set that took at least 30 points to decide? I, I actually just told them that was my <laughs> first set that went quite that high. I've had sets where we've come back from huge deficits. I've had um, moments where we went into extra points, but I don't think I've gone past 30. Um, so that was a first for me, um, and it, it was, you know, I, I had just I turned to both my assistant coaches and I was like, um, how close are we on subs? I, I knew we had to be getting close because it was, you know, running into those extra points, and then the next thing I knew, I looked up and I saw Colby in the front row, and I knew they were in that situation too because when you run that far into a set, and I knew if we could just keep managing through, we would be able to finish the match. To me, it seemed like whenever we were gotten past the 20 something point mark, it seemed like every time y'all needed a point, y'all backs were against the wall, you were the one providing that point. I mean, what is your mindset going in, going into that? I mean, it's a and then going on the next. I don't know. I felt like um, when we needed it the most, I was just had so much trust in my teammates to give me good pass. Gabby, amazing ball setting, and you know, just <laughs> putting it away. Um, I can add to that. Yeah, please. Um, I feel like with that, like, I really love to see the other side of the court and get the ball moving around. And, like, to me, one of our, like, fastest middles along with Zoe is, like, so fun and, like, just an exciting way to, like, keep the volleyball going. Like, I feel like setting the middles was such an advantage to us because we can, to me, I can get up so high and we can swing so fast. And it's just a plays that we make that make it, like, an advantage on our side brought to the table for everyone tonight is she was aggressive in every yes. play. She was going up swinging, and she was going up to put the ball away uh, on every single play, which was incredible. Yes, and one more thing. Like, I, setting you, like, I have no doubt. Like, in all of my hitters, I have zero doubt in any of them, and I put all my trust in each and every one of them. I trust Lauren's there to give me a great pass. I trust my whole defense and, like, my hitters as well. Like, all of my trust is in them, and if I need them, they're there for me too. So. I also feel like Tamiya showed it really well tonight, but this season we've worked a lot on like just adding God into everything we do and Tamiya's just smile and like being grateful to be there. Like I could just see it on the court. And like she just like really like lived out what we've been like working on all season, like thanking God every single second for like the ability we have to play with the people around us and just like living out like his word through like joy and just like smiling and just having fun with our friends. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, this is just something that is something like an experience that like so special to us and we are so grateful that we could be here in this situation <laughs> so it's just so amazing to be here with my girls and I'm so grateful okay we're gonna have one last question for you I'll let you go so in all four years of your high school career you would play on your mom and win state titles all four of those years how, how tough has she been on you? I mean, surely she's, she's been tough on you. But really, you know, just get home. You know, Cameron, what were you doing in practice? Like, were there any days like that where you're like, man, playing on the mom, it's, it's, it's not fun. Whatever. Yeah. It's fun. So it's been a, a blast. From it's, I'm definitely so blessed to have this ride with her. Like, I thank God every day I get the opportunity to play for her. <laughs> but um, we have had some hard moments, but really, like, I can't like can't even count the amount of days that like I've just been so joyful to play for her and like just be with her every moment. <laughs> Aw, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, coach. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome.